standing here looking at these trees. It's really put a lot of thought in me. I've noticed I never just stood and watched the tree move before. When I watched it move for the first time, I was kind of a little freaked out. Like, I didn't realize that the wind was that powerful to be able to move such a big tree. So, so powerful to be able to change and transform, be able to move and manipulate and be able to do what it does. The wind that we can't even see, that we can't even taste it, we can't, we can't nothing with it, but yet it can move something so large so easily. Just really made me think about something that is very interesting on the idea of sometimes things that we want may not be things that we need. Things that we need may not be the things that we actually do want. Because a lot of times we're living in our feelings. Living in our feelings of, I want it because it makes me feel good. As opposed to needing it because it's something that's going to be able to bring the greatness out of you. My name is Mark Anthony Dubose Jr. and I was born July 4th, 1986. Today, I don't know what it is, but I did a lot of walking, did a lot of thinking, did a lot of studying, did a lot of research. I've been doing a lot of just, just, just looking at things that I, I I just noticed that I don't really pay attention to. Just simple thing of like watching this right here, these trees moving. It, I was just sitting here and it, it seemed like a, like some kind of an optical, I don't know, it's just a weird, they kind of freaked me out a little bit. I was like, wow, I never even noticed that trees do that. And, I, and that kind of saddened me a little bit because that just let me know of how disconnected I am of everything out here. How disconnected I am of, of actually like really getting to know what it is that's around me. How disconnected I am of this land, of, of this earth, of everything that goes on. Just, just like clockwork. This is happening without me having to even be out here and do anything with it. And, I, and I've never even been paying attention to it because it's been here. This tree here, it's just about older than I am. It's a very interesting thing that it's, it's here and it's doing what it's doing. And it, it, it's, it's been doing what it's doing regardless of what I'm doing. And, and it just kind of kind of saddened me a little bit because I, don't, I, don't, I wasn't recognizing that things are going on out here. And, and it just really put a lie to me of just, just realizing like, Mark, sometimes maybe what is it that you want? that you really are desiring, that you're really looking for, that you really just think is gonna be able to help you out is not the, gonna be the, the thing that's gonna be able to help you out to be able to get to that point. That what it is that you want, what it is that, 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 that you're, you're looking for is gonna be the thing that, that might actually slow you down and, and put you in, into more misery. But sometimes the things that I need, the things that, that are gonna be able to help me out, I just look at it first like, I don't like it. I don't want that. I'm not gonna deal with that. I don't, I don't wanna be anywhere around that. I don't want that even close to me. I don't, I don't want to even think about the, the opportunity of it being able to, to, to just be near me. I can't stand it. I, 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 I give you use a ruthless word if I hate it. I just don't want it. But that thing may be the thing that I absolutely need, that I'm rejecting, but I absolutely need it. And, and I need to bring it in closer and closer because that's what's going to actually be able to better me, better my life, better everything about me, be able to bring me into the place that I want to be able to go, be able to help me bring the, the more out of me. Hey, hey, guys, bring the more out of me to be able to finally be able to just have a, a sense of relief, a sense of peace, a sense of just reality is something I'm gonna say. Because a lot of times that, that I'm just standing here even looking at this, it, sometimes it's, it, it almost seems like it's fake, it's so real. And that's something that is a weird thing because it's, it's, it's everything out here is real. And it's so real that it, 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 it's just, it, I don't even know what word to put right there, but it's, it's so real, it's so real. It's so real that I could touch it, I could hold it, I could feel it, I could be with it. But yet there's stuff that can move it that I can't see, that I don't know, that I, 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 I have no experience with in reality. And something like that is just so powerful to me because in reality, that's the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing and, and having what I'm having right now. I'm believing and trusting in something that I can't see it. I can't touch it. I can't, I can't communicate with it. I can't do anything with it. But yet I got to know that it's there. And that's where when I'm just sitting here looking at these simple little trees, well, this is technically one tree that's turned into two way at the bottom, which is fascinating to me seeing the progression of what it's done. Even though I can't see what's making it move, I know it's moving. I know it's moving. It's moving. You can clearly see that it's moving, but I can't see what's making it do that. And that's for me to just really try to put out there more of understanding what it is that I do and how I do what I do. You can't see the background of what's going on to be able to make me move, to get me to react, to get me to do. But yet I'm still keep doing. And just because you can't see it doesn't mean that it's not there. It doesn't mean that it's not real doesn't mean that it's not going to be able to help you and be able to get into a better place. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean you should just dismiss it as it's fake, as it's not, as phony. Because that's what I could say is these trees are moving how? How are they moving? What's going on with it? You know, it, it, the wind is fake? No, it can't be because it's clearly moving. Just because I can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. And that's something that 
I don't know what it is that I, I've been thinking a whole lot about today. And just a, the simple concept of making sure that, that I'm pushing forward and moving towards something that is going to be able to bring the greatness out of me as opposed to something that is going to damage me and destroy me. And, and, I, and I wonder, how, how many of y'all even think about stuff like this, where this is just stuff that I, I'm constantly uh, thinking about, is trying to make sure that I'm headed into a better direction and not headed at a standstill and definitely not headed in a, in a destructive path of going down and back into things that I used to do. And sometimes, some days, I, I feel like things and people and situations come to me to challenge me to kind of make me want to go back into some old things and some old ways. And, and when that happens, I, I question. I question those people. I question those scenarios. I question those situations. Like, what's going on with that? Why is that there? Why is that happening? Why is this something that, that is in my life that is kind of trying to make me go back? And, and, and if you're trying to make me go back, are you looking out for the best of me? Are you wanting to help me? Are you wanting to see me get better? Or are you wanting me to go down and be, be nothing and, and get worse and, and turn back into what it is that you may have known, may have seen, and may have had experience with before with me? And that's something that is, is super interesting to me because it's something that I can't see what's going on. I can't, can't know everything that's happening. I can't be in 100% confirmation of everybody's intentions. But there's one thing that I do know, that there's something in the background that's going on that's always moving me. That's always bringing me something to be able to help me out, to better me, to, to bring me joy, to bring me freedom, to be able to bring me a sense of peace, a, a sense of relief. There's always something in the background that's doing that for me. And, and it's constantly doing that for me. It's constantly pushing me. It's constantly building me. It's constantly growing me. It's constantly getting me to get away from where I used to be and move me into something new. And it's something just the way everything is on this land and every animal is. They're constantly moving to get into a better place and a better, better scenario. They're constantly doing that. They're never just staying still. They're never just, oh, we're done, here we are. But nothing out here does that. Everything out here is constantly moving, moving, moving. And when everything is constantly moving, that, that lets me know that I need to be doing that same thing. That if, if this tree decided I'm gonna go backwards now, I'm gonna go do some things I used to do, it's not gonna survive. It's gonna just turn into devastation. It's gonna die, it's gonna pass away. It's not gonna make it, it's not gonna thrive. It's just, it's not going anywhere. And when I have a good understanding of seeing that that's how nature is out here, why would we try to be about that as a people, as a human being? That once you get through some things, you get some past some things, you, you got to know that you're not going back to some things. You're not going to ever have the opportunity to think that that thing is going to be able to actually make you better in the future when you had to leave that thing because it was making you worse in the, in the, in the past. And it's something that, I don't know, I, I just question a lot with everything that goes on with making sure that the things that I want, I need to have a good understanding of it may not be what's best for me, for what I want. And I need to really dial it back and slow it back and just say, what, what is it that I need? And what I need may not be what I'm looking for. It may, may be a challenge for me, may be a struggle for me, may, may damage me. It, it may, in a, in a short term, slow me down and get me to kind of go back a little bit to just make me see the, 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 the realness to be able to get me to move forward into something else again. And sometimes the things that, that hey, Oreo, can we get out of that sand, homie? Oreo, come here. Get out of the sand. Come here. Sorry, my homie just, he, every time you give him a bath, he like to get in the sand. He like to get dirty. I don't get it. Don't make no sense to me. <laughs> He's an interesting animal. <laughs> but, uh, just, just puts a smile on my face every day. But uh, a lot of times, that, I mean, even with that, I'm trying to get him to a better place to be clean, and he just wants to go back just to be dirty. It just makes you question, like, what's going on with that? He's very interesting situation that maybe, maybe being super clean and, and super fresh is, is not, the, not the thing to, to be about. Sometimes you just need to marinate in you and who you are and what you are to just, just, just understand that what it is is just what it is. But I mean, oh my goodness, like just seeing these trees moving right now just lets me know that there's something, there's something moving, there's something cruising, there's something always, just something's always happening. And when I have an understanding of knowing that something's always happened, I'm always knowing that I'm never just going to stay at a place where I'm just, just not trying to get into a better place. And when things just get still and they stop, that's when things are going to get complicated. And then when things start going backwards again, that's when things get even more complicated. And that's why for me, sometimes I have to really, really think hard about what it is I do and who it is I even bring in my life and where it is that I go and what it is that I like to affiliate myself with to, to, to keep in mind of, is this something that I just want? because I'm needing something that I think that I need for my own flesh, for my own things of the world? Or is it something that, that I need that's gonna be able to bring the better out of me 
it's just questions that I ask my own self that I wonder how many people ask these questions to yourself with looking at the things that you do and the places you go and the things you, you consume and, and just everything that, 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 that's around you. That is, is it stuff that is bringing you into a better place, stuff that's just bringing you down because it just makes you feel good right now? Are you eating foods that are tasting really nice right now, but knowing that it's just deteriorating your health day after day after day? Or are you just making that say sacrifice of eating stuff that you know you, you need to eat that's gonna be able to bring you better, but you don't really like it. You're just like, I, I kinda just, I don't like the taste of this. Then I can say the same thing with relationships with people. Are, are you talking to somebody that's just giving you what you want, that makes you feel good in the moment, makes it just gives you that, that, that aha, I feel right right now. And, and it's leading you to destruction. Or are you with someone that's, that's challenging, that you need, that's gonna be able to bring you to another place because it's something that is just constantly keeping you in, in a way of, of bettering yourself and understanding yourself and researching about yourself and learning about yourself and learning about the rest of the world. And with that, man, I just wanna say thank you. I just wanna say thank you for a very interesting day being able to go to a very interesting place, a same place that I always go, but I'm telling you, every time I go to the same place, I go to a same place and I see something completely different every single time. I see something that is just, just so wonderful and I always do a different thing every single time, everywhere I go, with, even though it's the same place. And it's just something that, that's been able to really just like ground me in a way, but let me know and let me understand that, man, everything is changing out here. Everything is constantly moving out here. Everything is just cruising and booming and blowing up and, and, and doing what it's doing. And it's just an absolutely amazing thing that sometimes we can have a year where, where things just kind of look like it's the same and it's kind of not doing that great. And then we can have a year where it's just, just maximum absolute growth. Because when I stand out here in this backyard uh, today and, and just, just get a good look at it, like this year is just most absolute growth. And it's just an absolutely amazing thing for me to just be able to see, knowing that it's not the same and it's always something different. That even if it isn't maximum growth, it's still just, it's something different. It's, it's just a very interesting thing. And, and I'm just so thankful to be able to, to, to see that with this world and then just get more and more of that and consume more of that into me of knowing that I, I've got some things that I've got to do. I got some things that I need to work on. I got some things that I need to start making better with my own self and stop looking at myself as, is constantly being the same old same and realizing that I'm moving somewhere different to be able to gain something, to be able to be something different. And that's something that I'm just so thankful for, of knowing that I don't have to uh, uh, be what it is that somebody wants me to be, that I could be what it is that I want to be, and I could do what it is that I want to do, and I can be able to make happen what it is that, that I, I want. But at the same time, I got to be careful with those wants because sometimes those wants may lead me to the de destruction. But that's, that's where, for me, having a very good understanding of knowing who God is and being able to, to, to pray to Jesus is able to kind of clarify and be able to change some things up for me and be able to simplify my life in a way to be able to put my questions upon, uh, upon him to be able to get myself, to be able to get more clarity with where it is that I should go and what it is that I should do. And sometimes that clarity may be an a answer that I don't really want in the moment. But I have to make a good, good understanding of knowing that what I want in the moment may not be the best thing for me in the future. That if I let some things go and move some things around and get some other stuff in, that I would have a better future as opposed to one that's just going to lead me to the same old stuff that I used to be a part of. I just want to say thank you.